Hello, Rob from Fountain Pen Journey with a review of the Papermate Compact Fountain Pen. Now, this pen, for those of you who know the Pilot Petite one, or Petit one because they missed the E off the petite bit, um, it looks incredibly similar. In fact, it's almost a clone of that pen. The Pilot Petit one is really affordable. I bought a couple three years ago maybe, two and a half years ago, and I was absolutely blown away with the quality of the nib for the price. I mean, they're only like, I don't know, two pounds each or something like that. Um, so when I saw these pens on Amazon, this is the Papermate Compact Fountain Pen, it was a similarly cheap price. Now, weirdly, these pens, and I will put a link down um, in the description below, uh, to the price and the link where you can buy these on Amazon and they come in three packs and five packs all in this sort of lilac -y purple color there's no other color options available seemingly but you know if you want a pack of five pocket fountain pens or three pocket fountain pens they're really really cheap I mean the three pack that I bought uh, cost me three pound twenty five um, and I've noticed now that the um, uh, seller is now charging shipping it's not part of Amazon Prime so these uh, pens are currently £3.25 plus £1.45 plus £1 delivery which to be honest for a pack of three pens isn't bad now let's talk about the pen and I'll do a comparison with the Pilot Petit 1 2 um, I mean this is a tiny 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 pocket pen this really is Diddy. Um, let's get a Twisby Eco. Dinky, dinky little pen. Um, uncapped. Shockingly small. Put it side by side with the Eco. Ooh. Yeah, I mean it's 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 a good inch and a half shorter posted you're starting to see that this can become more of a full-size pen and it is about the same length as the Twisby Eco posted so talk more about this pen and the overall design and we'll do a comparison with the Pilot Petit one it's all plastic <clears throat> excuse me and to be honest the plastic does feel pretty decent quality i'm not saying that this is a 100 percent robust plastic it's not abs or anything like that i'm sure i'm sure if you uh, left this in a back pocket and sat on it it could crack but i think it's overall quite well designed the clip now this plastic clip molded into the cap up here as you can see it i mean it's there we go focus it's it's a strangely sort of inserted into the cap there are sprue marks and things as well so the finish isn't great i mean these are smooth but you know not perfect this clip it works but my god that will snap no uh, no doubt about it this is not a strong clip and there is a hole up here for a lanyard so if you want to hang this around your neck it's quite a good option um clear colorless cap we have where is it paper mate the paper mate logo with the hearts on their registered trademark on the barrel of the pen which is a it's a lilac -y purple um which in all honesty, I find absolutely nauseating. I, I, I quite like some purples, and there are some other types of purple, like lavender colours, which just make me feel ugh. This is one of those colours, so it's, it's not not a favourite colour. But your um, your opinion of the colour may well be different to mine. On caps, really secure. I mean, it, the capping is secure. really really secure so I mean you you're not going to worry about this getting on caps even though it is a clip on cap um, there's not a lot going on in there there is a bit of a cap liner 
the nib is steel gold plated well gold colored and as you can see we've got two hearts on there and some filigree work so yeah not a bad looking nib and i'm guessing that even though it's a winged nib um i wouldn't have a clue which nib sizes would be um swappable on this uh, and it only seems to come in a fine nib there is a bright blue solid plastic feed beneath the nib unusual to see anything like that there's no fins or anything like that and as you can see inside the translucent section there are the fins in there and it's all bl blue plastic same as the feed um, you can see ink in there as well a little bit there are some ridges inside the pen give it a bit of extra strength and you can see that the barrel is there and let's talk about the length unposted this is a teeny tiny pen and it's actually really difficult to write with unposted it's just for me especially way 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 too short the barrel unscrews there are quite a few threads in there and it takes standard international short ink cartridges and there are no holes just tried blowing into the barrel so this is definitely a pen which i would consider eyedroppering however these threads the pitch on these threads is really minimal so this is going to take an awful lot of silicone grease potentially an o-ring as well around there to prevent this from leaking if you do eyedropper it and bearing in mind if you are going to eyedropper this you can see just through the translucent purple barrel that short standard international ink cartridge considering how much space there is left around it which is pretty minimal this is not going to be a massive increase in ink if you eyedropper it but it, it's i don't know maybe double the ink capacity so we're not talking huge ink capacities for this eyedropperable fountain pen potentially a bit of a risk with those threads and if you do notice that the plastic is already a little bit scratched and just just not brilliant but it's you know robust enough now this pilot petit one let's have a look at this how this compares well it's got the same well similar sort of clip which is attached onto the top of the pen here similar design to the clip similarly slightly dodgy easily breakable plastic no lanyard hole on the pilot petit one compare these side by side and as you can see the pilot petit one is slightly larger it's not by much but about maybe about a centimeter and I have a Caveco All Sport here, which will give you a further indication. So the Pilot Petit One and the Caveco Sport, All Sport, did I say All Sport? Ice Sport. The Caveco Sport is very, very similar, a little bit shorter than the Pilot Petit One. But the Papermate compact fountain pen is shorter still. So, Pilot Petit One has a winged steel nib um, there's no embellishments nothing ornate on there and i have been absolutely amazed at how well this little pen writes the reason i haven't got this pen inked up now is because it takes proprietary cartridges and they're not your typical um uh, pilot cartridges the short which is kind of annoying because they're difficult to get hold of but this pen has much much thicker slightly higher pitched um, threads on the section I'm just going to try and stop everything rolling away let's just compare these two so left hand side this is the Papermate compact fountain pen and right hand side the Pilot Petit 1. It's a similar length of threads but 
personally I would have a little bit more faith in the Pilot Petit one and I know that many people do eyedropper these, eyedropper these pens and really really enjoy using them that way especially because you can't get the standard international cartridges uh, to fit like you do in the Papermate pen so let's put everything back together they are very similar pens still got the original label on here and you can see the uh, cartridge thing that uh, instructions that these things ship with now I bought these pilot petit ones from Taiwan I think so, so somewhere anyway like that and yeah they are they are more widely available now in the UK thankfully because these these are really good little pocket pens let's see what they're like you can just about write with the pilot petit one unposted and the reason being is because overall length is just a few millimeters longer but it actually makes quite a difference posting these pens so paper mate pen down here pilot petit one very very similar in size but there is an issue and i'll get onto that in a minute uh, as for the Caveco Sport, well, as you can see, a little bit longer. So, I mean, they do form decent compact sized fountain pens um, when they're posted. Unposted, you can see there is a gradual step down in length from the uh, Caveco Sport to the Pilot Petit one to the Papermate compact fountain pen. So there is the size comparisons. Now the section on the Pilot Petit one, I'll put the sections here so you can see the Pilot Petit one has a much shorter section but there is more of a barrel whereas the Pilot Petit one longer section less of a barrel so quite a big difference there to there there to there so I hope I've illustrated that well enough I mean both pens there's nothing weird it's a circular section comfortable it's not some tiny little narrow thing um, and both pens yeah comfortable to hold So, the last thing I really want to talk about, I mean, the Pilot Petit one has more ink capacity in there, and it's more of a better quality finish overall than the Pilot, than the uh, Papermate compact fountain pen, which is just, you know, it's a little bit cheap. But remember, these are inexpensive pens, and, you know, that is what I tend to focus on on my... Uh, YouTube channel here so do give me a like and subscribe hit the notifications bell a couple of times to get uh, notified of when I re release new videos and you'll see more cheap fountain pens plus some more mid-range ones coming up soon um, so overall I'm, I mean the Pilot Petit one great writing pen really really staggeringly good writer for the price We'll see how this one writes, but the biggest issue I have is this. So the Papermate compact fountain pen, uncap it, and it it posts, but it's not secure. And as you're writing, because it's short, you're putting pressure on the cap, which is posted. And as you can see, it's not it doesn't post deeply it just kind of fits on so if you just pop this on the back like you would do with the Caveco Sport you know sooner or later this is going to drop off and to get this cap to stay on you really do have to put some extra pressure in there and I don't think that this cap is going to withstand very much of that at all 
but as you can see yeah it's posted a lot more securely now but it's, it's I mean it's not even posted straight so not good compared to the pilot petit one which has I'll try and show you up here around this area here there are there's one there are these little knobs molded into the barrel and the cap clips onto those you don't have to force it down hard there's no uh, reliance on the uh, interior diameter of the cap squeezing onto the barrel those knobs simply Pop it in place, and I'll put this near the ca near the uh, microphone so you can hear this capping, this posting. It's a very satisfying experience, and it is it becomes quite nice to write with, and it is very very secure. I mean, it's a good capping system, simple but good. So the writing experience, as I said, I bought three of these pens, a three pack. One pen just would not write. I did absolutely everything, and I believe that the biggest problem is somewhere inside the section. And I haven't tried to pull it out. I haven't bothered wasting my time for this price of this pen. The pen's sitting over in a drawer somewhere, and basically the whole section is full of ink. There's about half an ink cartridge gone into the section and the, the nib just won't write. So I suspect that there is a problem inside the feed somewhere. However, I have three of these pens and I thought, well, let's see what it's like. And I popped in this ink cartridge and there was absolutely no problem with it whatsoever. So let's see how it writes. I have to go through the rigmarole of trying to post it there we go let's see how long that lasts so this is the paper mate it's all one word paper mate compact fountain pen with a what they describe as a fine gold nib it's not gold it's gold colored but it's a fine steel plated nib and i think the nib's quite attractive it's certainly much 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 more attractive than the uh, folded bit of metal that is the pilot petit's one nib i'm guessing that these nibs will not be interchangeable um However, the pilot nib writes really, really well. But what do I think about this nib? Well, it also writes really, really well. I mean, this is just the standard blue cartridge that came with the pen. I'd say it's medium to dry wetness. But I've written with this pen for quite a while, and there is no issue whatsoever with the ink feed keeping up. It just writes and writes and writes. Um, in line variation there is none um, this is a very stiff nib but it's consistent I've left this pen unused for weeks and it writes first time every time I mean I, you've seen me uncapping and capping this I haven't written with this pen for at least a week and no skips or hard starts anyway really really solid writer so it was a little bit disappointing that um, one out of three of these pens just would not write. Um, but for the price, I'm not going to complain. As for reverse writing with this nib, it goes from what I would actually call a, this is fine, it says fine, but I would say it's a medium fine. Reverse writing is actually more of a fine. 
and it is incredibly smooth and it's actually a pleasure to write with with the nib upside down in reverse writing in every direction this really is a good good nib so every credit to papermate i mean this is a papermate branded nib with the two hearts on there papermate um so yeah i'm really impressed with how well this little pen writes i'm not at all impressed with the way that it posts so that is the big downside with these little pens but for the price for the affordability and for the very consistent and rather surprisingly good writing experience I would say that these pens are really well worth it, especially if you like the design. Bearing in mind that um, this is a purple colour only, whereas the Pilot Petit one is available in a whole range of different colours, um, if you want a load of different colours, so definitely worth considering this, along with the Pilot Petit one. Which would I say is best? I'd go with the Pilot Petit one overall however once you've like i did use the ink cartridge <laughs> thrown it away without cleaning it, cleaning it out and refilling it you're probably going to have to go down the eyedropper route to use this whereas this takes short standard international ink cartridges so a lot easier so there is a reasonably long review of a very very short fountain pen and let me know what you think, because I do have more pocket fountain pens. Um, do you like them? I do. I, I mean, I quite like decently sized pens and decently weighted pens, but I also like really small pocket pens, just because I think they're cute and fun. So let me know your thoughts in the uh, comments down below. Let me know whether you like them. And um, thanks very much for watching, and I shall see you next time. Bye.